Did you know that the original Hagakure text is lost? Okay guys, welcome to this. My name's Anthony Cummins and I'm going to do a review of the Hagakure, the new version. Now this is by um, Alexander Bennett. Now why is it a new version? Well first of all, we all know the Hagakure, don't we? We're all familiar with it. The treaty that gave us like the way of the samurai is found in death. What you may not know is that the original book you all probably bought is not a complete copy. It's only extracts from books one and two. Now, according to Alex, I'm going to call him Alex, his name is Alexander, but I've spoke to him, he's called Alex. According to Alex, there are 11 books in the Hagakure, 11. And the, the version you have is probably just an idea of the uh, an extract from the first one or two. So what Alex has done, He's gone along, got the first two books, and completed them in full. So make sure when you get this one, it's the Hagakure by Alexander Bennett. Okay, guys, because what he's done is um, he's actually gone and thought, okay, they're not. This is not everything from books one and two. I am going to put it all in there, and he's gone and done it. And so, just to be absolutely clear, if you're not understanding me, if you're not buying it by Alex Bennett, you are buying a sort of like a cut down version. So, he's put it together, but what's amazing is that he's actually put one of the best forwards to it I've read, and I'm not joking. What he's done is put in here the actual context, what it meant to the people around them at the time. Now, as I've said, the original manuscript is lost. The original manuscript has about 11 books in it. However, what he's done is he shows quite nicely how he's got to his translation and which versions he's using. Now remember, because the original is lost doesn't mean that transcriptions don't exist. So these transcriptions out there differ slightly. But he's gone into that in there. So what that means is that when now the original handwriting by the original writer has all gone away and people who've copied it later, um, theirs is still there and he's compared them and gone through them and chose the best one. So also what he does is he tells you, which is absolutely amazing, is that the Hagakure is not a text for all Japan. The problem we have with the Hagakure is that it seems to define what we know about the samurai. It seems to be the leading um, beacon for what um, Bushido is. And he's telling you, no, it's not. It's not that. It's basically the domain where it was written. It was even secret in there, being passed around between members because some of the things it said in there were too political or too much like you can't really write that you know somebody up at the top's gonna not like that so what they did is they kept it as a hidden document and they passed it around their clan now what most people don't know is it only came um became popular after the samurai had died out. So if you're imagining the Hagakure as this manual that the samurai are reading, you're totally wrong. It was pretty much a, a hidden manual, i.e. the hidden leaves. And it was uh, only brought into popularity in the sort of 20th century, if you will. And of course, this book, as it goes into, was heavily used in different times in Japan to push political means. Or he says that sometimes, like after the war, they sort of retracted the book and it was a little bit, we can't say that anymore. It's sort of like everybody is going to death in the World War II. Everybody's like sort of like taking on this samurai death spirit and the way of samurai's found in death. And people actually died, you know, through these teachings. So what he's saying is that You've got a book that's hidden inside of its own province, pushed around, and then eventually it emerges, it becomes a good book, a bad book, but it, then it becomes a good book again, and now we use it as a history, you know, a way to look into the samurai history. So I would say, guys, so if you really want to know about Hagakure, get to the, um, get to the introduction on this. I think it's only a few pages long, but it is perfect. But what he also does, which is great, is he actually gives you the timeline at the back of the uh, people involved and he gives you all the timeline from what happened when the book was written, when the uh, events were written, which is, it really puts it in context because sometimes you're a bit like, what's going on? And after that, he talks about the actual society, how society is built. Including this, he talks about the different ways we can look at loyalty within samurai loyalty, which is something I'm really interested in. Everybody's got this idea that samurai are loyal to the death and they sit there. No, that's not, you know, how it works totally. It, it's the ideal. And what he does is he divides this and, sh and breaks down the ideal for you, which I think is absolutely superb. 
What's nice to see is my book's in the back here as well. That one, Show Ninky again, the original is lost. We only have transcriptions. So, what I did do is I asked Alex to give me some points. I'm not going to read the text for you because the text is really famous. But if you really like the Hagakure, you could go through this and decide which, which are the new bits. So, for example, uh, 156 here of, of like book one. Is that a new bit? Is it not? You'd have to go through individually and find out which ones were brand new and which ones were the old ones. So um, that's a job for anybody who loves the Hagakure and you could put that on a blog or a video somewhere so people can jump straight to them. That brings me, whenever I do a book review, I always try to do a balanced review. I don't just say, wow, buy the book, it's amazing. I try to give you the good points and the bad points. And one of the bad points I found about this is it doesn't tell you which bits are new. It's like, this is, so for example, the first complete translation of the most influential of all Japanese books on Bushido. But where are the new bits? Like, I'd have to compare everything, you know, from both, from all of the versions. So that's a bit of a ball ache. I wish it had a table in the back that said... Point six, point sixty one, point fifty five. 61, 55, these are the new bits, go to those. So that would be nice. Of course, again, for those who watch my reviews, it's in paperback. The person who decided to put the Hagakure in paperback should be taken into the yard at the publishers and shot, because that is not what we do with ancient manuals. I think with an ancient manual, it should be in hardback, because you treat it with a bit more respect. As you can see, paperback, I'm even bending this as we talk. So, let's cut to the chase. Right, the Hagakure, um, translated by Alexander Bennett, the first complete translation of the most influential of all Japanese books. Is it worth getting? If you've already read the Hagakure and you didn't like it, I'd say no, to be honest with you. If you read the Hagakure and you loved it and you're well into it, then you have to buy it. It's without doubt if there are new bits in it and you're missing sections and you want to understand how the book was you know, received in its time, you need to get it. Um, also, there's a secret reason why you should get this, uh, because I've talked to the author, and um, we're on the same publishing company, basically, and I would love, and I'm trying to get persuade him, to get involved with the Gungaku side. This is the military science side, because, to be honest, I like the Hagakure, but it, it has messed our image of the samurai up very much, and uh, I know what people at Samurai Archives, they discuss this quite a lot. They basically, you know, it's not all these Bushido texts. These are these are not quite the way of this normal, average, everyday samurai, you know. Um, and we've skewiffed it. So if we can try and sell as many copies of this, so get out there and buy it, we can hopefully persuade Alex to come on board and do some of the military things. Like imagine a translation of the Gumpo Joshu. Imagine it translated by Alex. Now if you want to know what Alex does, he holds a doctorate from the University of Canterbury and Kyoto University. He's worked for the International Research Centre for Japanese Studies and is currently an associate professor at Kansai University Department of Internal Affairs. He lectures frequently on Japanese martial culture. If you also don't know, he's pretty much the author, the, the publishing company behind Kendo World as well. So if you're interested in Kendo, you probably know Alex Bennett. If you're not, then, you know, get on and look at Kendo World on Amazon and you can start to get paper or digital copies of that. Right, guys. My last thing and message to you, Alex, is how dare you. This annoys me. The first complete translation. Boom. I'm buying it. No, 11 books and there are only two books in here. That's not a complete translation. I am a completist. You absolutely should. If it's got 11 books, I want 11 books. I don't care how much it costs. If you've got 11 books, I want all 11 books. Um, just simply because you, in my head, you're missing something. It's like when we published Bansen Shukai. The Shochi 3 is missing, we found it now, but at the time it was just missing from the world and now, now I'm annoyed it's not complete. So we'll get it done one day. Right guys, one last time, Hagakure by Alexander Bennett. Go get it, go put a good review on Amazon for him. Oh no, sorry, sorry, let me get that right. An honest review on Amazon. What do you think of the book? You should always be honest on Amazon. Um, help him out. Pass this video along to anyone you know like Samurai and let's crack on and get the Samurai back to where they should be as respected professional warriors.